When it is this hot, lakes and ponds are especially appealing, but some of them are off limits and swimmers are frustrated. The problem? Bacteria that's making the water unsafe. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in Barnstable this evening with our story. Mike? Lisa, we've been to several ponds and beaches today, and they all look like this. Empty. Nobody is in the water because of bacteria that's making it too dangerous to jump in. And it's been starting earlier and earlier in the season. Marston's Mills residents are upset toxic algae is invading their ponds again this summer. Delia and her husband bought their home because it sits on Long Pond. It's now closed to swimming because of cyanobacteria. And it's kind of sad, you know, because there are a lot of young couples in the neighborhood who bring their children down here to play in the water because it's easier than taking them to the ocean, obviously. It's safer. Long Pond is one of several closed in the town of Barnstable. Others are on the warning list. So we're monitoring ponds with permanent beaches and ones that are in trouble for cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria blooms are also called blue-green algae. They can produce harmful toxins and cause serious illness to humans and pets. A regular person, if they were exposed to maybe a small amount, might feel nauseous or um, not, you know, uh, be dizzy, but uh, it could vary. It's definitely a concern, and I'm very surprised about it. Two ocean beaches in Barnstable are also closed to swimmers because of another type of bacteria possibly caused by wastewater. Veterans Beach and Ropes Beach failed sample tests. It's very disappointing because it's a very picturesque area and, you know, from time to time you'd like to maybe just put your feet in here. If you show up at a pond, lake, or beach and you're not sure if you can head in the water, look for signs like this one with the conditions. They're typically posted right at the entrance. Reporting live on the Cape tonight, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.